It is November 17, 2016. This is the Watchman News, and I'm Mike Callahan. In a world of, of safety pins and butt hurt and whatever you want to call this mess and aftermath of an election and all that, there's been a lot of events going on that I've seen happen, and I, I just I'm kind of in disbelief. Now, you all should know that I, I didn't support any any of the candidates or anything like that. Um, I, I I would rather sit back, keep my eyes open, and look for the truth than not have smoke blown up my butt. But um, anyway, if this would have been like eight years ago and this stuff would have been going on, they would have had Department of Homeland Security activated. They would have had all kinds of stuff going on, okay, all kinds of stuff. But it does seem, um, for whatever reason, which I think is probably obvious, I don't know. I don't know if he's playing a game or if he's, you know, I, I really don't. I, I don't, and neither does anybody else except for Trump himself. Um, but anyway... Um, if something like this would have happened when Obama was transitioning to office, like I said, Homeland Security would have been involved. There would it would have been a totally, totally different response. Totally different response. Anyway, RT breaking news reporting this morning: protesters storm lobby of Trump transition team building. Okay, uh, a group of protesters has stormed the lobby of a Washington of the Washington D.C. building where President-elect Donald Trump's transition team is preparing for the start of his presidential term. Check out the video here. For four companies. And, uh, Hang on a second here. I will fix that issue. Oh, there is no audio, so I can't fix the issue. Um, it goes on to say that photos and videos have emerged of activists gathered inside and outside the General Services Administration building in a protest organized by the American Jewish Activist Group, if not now. now that's kind of interesting, huh? Hmm. That is really interesting. I wonder why, uh, why they would have gotten involved. Okay, um... Let's see, the demonstrators were calling for Trump's White House chief strategist, Stephen Bannon, to be sacked. Bannon is the chief executive of Breitbart New and has been accused of racism and anti-Semitism by the Southern Poverty Law Center and the Anti-Defamation League. Well, right there, we should write it off anyway. Members of the group are holding banners stating Fire Bannon and Jewish Resistance and are sharing images from the protest under the same hashtags. By the way, this is what we get when we have colleges and stuff like that that uh, are willing to get rid of staff like professors and stuff like that because somebody else was butt hurt. Then we have people thinking that they're entitled to be able to just say, well, I don't like that guy. Get rid of him. And it, and it happens. You know, make it, make it so, Captain. But it don't work that way, folks. Life doesn't work that way. Not everybody gets a participation trophy. It, it just, you know, this is crazy. This is insane. I mean, I'm all for protesting and stuff like that, but, uh, you know, this is kicking and screaming and, and, and throwing a tantrum is, is what it is. I don't like Trump. I don't like Trump. I don't like any of them. Don't like any of them. But you don't see me throwing a fit, you know. I don't know why there's no audio, but there is no audio. Everything's all good on my side. Okay, so um, let's see. Another image from inside the GSA building where Trump transition office is. Uh, another video. We'll see if it's got audio. Alrighty, so there you have it, you know, um, now they're trying to, uh, you know, the um, social justice warriors or whatever you want to call these folks, um, 
are, are trying to pick uh, Trump's team. However, that works. Anyway, uh, I'll put the link to the story down in the description tab. Keep an eye on it. I just seen it first thing this morning popped up on uh, on RT's feed, so I figured I'd get the information out there. 